Hey guys, what's up? Miles here. Thank you for joining us for another episode of UBU, where we hope to encourage, motivate, and influence you to be the best you that only you can be. Now with that being said, we have a couple of awesome people here today who are actually crushing it in the music world. And guess what? They're only 12 and 16 years old. All right, we're gonna meet them right now after this bad intro. What's up again? Hey, we have with us Justin, who is only 12 years old, crushing it in the music world. Yes, he is amazing on the keys, the guitar, the bass, the guitar, the anything with keys, basically, and strings and stuff like that. And then right next to us, we have Jamie Lee Schultz, crushing it on the drums. Yes, you should hear some of her stuff. In fact, we're going to put some of their stuff right in this video so you can see how awesome and amazing they are at only 12 and 16 years old. Anyway... How are you guys doing today? I am doing great. Great. I'm doing great. Yeah. Like I said before, these guys are making a huge impact in the social media realm. Mm -hmm. On Instagram alone, with them both combined, have about 180,000 followers. These guys are top notch. So they've been on the Harry Show, Little, Little Big Shots. Uh, they've also, in South Africa, been on. Uh, South Africa's Got Talent. And we came third place. Third place on South Africa's Got Talent. Man, these guys are stars. Let me tell you real quick, they're not full of it. They're not cocky or anything. They're humble. They're fun to be around. They're super fun people. Uh, and they always want to learn. They continue to just do what they're passionate about despite what other people may say about them. These guys are awesome. So tell us how awesome you guys are. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and they're, they're humble. Very. Hum Tell us how humble you guys are. We're humble. <laughs> okay, so we're we're encouraging people to to be the best that they can be at something. So, what has encouraged you to continue to go after your passions and your dreams? Ooh, that's a uh, ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> that's a good that's a good question. question. <laughs> All right. So, what encourages you though? What what motivates you to keep doing it? To press on. Uh, you know, just to see the bigger picture. Like, uh, I want to tour around the world, uh, probably orchestrate uh, or write, mu write music for, <laughs> for movies. Okay. So, you know. So, just, composer. Composer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, just, you know, knowing the bigger picture. And, of course, my dad uh, encourages me and he inspires me too to be a better player too. So okay. Practice every day. And, of course, other people. Uh, on social media too, like there's a lot of bad cats on, on social media. How did you stay encouraged and how do you stay motivated to continue to pursue your passions and your dreams? I stay motivated because I know my gift will take me all over the world. Yeah! Alright, we're going to do a breakout session. We're going to see who has the best dance moves. Ready for this? On the spot. <laughs> Trying to move the ball over. <laughs> he actually spat all that out. Okay, nice. You need a water break. So, what one piece of advice would you give uh, to somebody who is feeling discouraged or, or wanting to give up? Uh, don't give up. You know, just stay consistent, uh, and you'll see that it pays off in the long run if you just keep practicing uh, whatever you're doing, sports, or even music or movies or something. Just, just keep at it. And you know you'll get better as you go along. With it. That's great. Good answer. Yeah, great answer. Come on, everybody. <laughs> All right, I got a great question for some of you guys who may be dealing with this. Jamie, have you ever felt like giving up or quitting at any point of your life? And if so, what did you do to combat that? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, no. 
haven't felt that yet. Hopefully I don't feel it ever. Good. But my dad always encourages me and helps me get through what I'm getting. Man, your dad seems like a stinking superstar. He is. Yeah. A superstar. So he doesn't like forcefully like tell you, man, you have to do this or whatever. No, like he, how like, does he... he like never forces us. He says straight up, if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. Shout out, Dad. Come on, thanks, Dad. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Julius. We appreciate you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so I know when you guys are starting to get big, even on social media, there's some crazy people who, who throw negative comments and stuff like that at you. How do you guys combat that? How do you deal with those negative comments? Well, you know, I don't really read the comments that much. My dad does, though. Okay. But uh, he'll just he'll just say not everybody will like you. So if there's like a hundred a hundred uh, positive comments. positive comments, will be like one person who who doesn't like you, and that's okay. You still got the 99 people that do like you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Yeah. No, that's a good way of looking yeah, at. So there's my, always gonna be a hater, right? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Sipping on Haterade, you know, just like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want that Gatorade, give me that Haterade over there, you know, no, anyway. Yeah, so my dad and my mom just, you know, just keeps encouraging me and stuff like that, so. That's great, because seriously, negative comments can really lower your self-esteem, but just knowing, look, like you said, man, there's gonna, there's 99 other people who are, uh, yeah, who, yeah, who like you and who are giving you positive feedback, don't focus on that one negative comment. I remember he said this one time, he said, Man, you know you've made it when you have haters. And I thought it was, <laughs> it was the coolest thing. I'm like, oh my god. I did say that. Okay, wait, okay, wait. You know you made it when you have haters. There you go. Yeah. You <laughs> know you made it when you have haters. <laughs> you have haters. Haters. You've made it. Yeah. Uh, I love that. That's just cool because you're always going to have haters. You go on YouTube, you go on all these social media platforms, you look at the news, there's always somebody hating who's always talking bad, saying some dumb stuff. Uh, honestly, like, Oh, just it's crazy. But anyway, I love that comment that you said. I'm gonna coin that comment right there. Actually, no, I'll put I'll put your name right next to it. You know you made it. Or like put on a t-shirt. Alright, rapid fire time. We have 10 seconds per question. Answer really quick as fast as you can. First thing that comes to your mind. Ready? Rapid fire. What is your favorite food? Pizza. Chipotle. What is your favorite instrument? Drums. Piano. What is your favorite season? Summer. Summer. What is your favorite actress? I don't know. Selena Gomez. Just pick one. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. <laughs> no, no, no. What is your favorite movie? Avengers Endgame. Alright. All right. No, Avengers. Because if I say Endgame, then. then yeah, it's just limiting that, it to that. just one movie. Uh, breakthrough. Breakthrough. You didn't even watch that. It looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> so her favorite movie is something that wait, looks wait, cool, but me, she's never let, watched. Let me, let me change my answer. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite movie? <laughs> All right. No favorite movie. No problem. Okay. What is your favorite singer? Ariana Grande. No, wait. Bruno Mars. Oh, Bruno Mars. Okay. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite color? Purple. Red. What's your favorite hobby? Magic. Oh, this guy's actually pretty sweet at magic Ooh. tricks. Uh, he yeah. should show you a few things. Oh, change. <laughs> All right, so let me let me ask this uh, question for you because people even on YouTube ask this, uh, but they ask, do you do anything besides play music? I actually do. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what do you do? <laughs> uh, video games. Video games. Okay. I do. I do school. Too. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Excellent at music, and they have other hobbies and things that they do. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> uh, school, uh, yeah, that's a priority. Absolutely, yep. yeah. my dad and my mom say that school and church is the priority. There you go, I yes, love that. Yes, some video games, uh, Mario Kart racing games and stuff like that. Uh, do some magic. Yeah, watch okay. TV. When it's hot outside, go swim because in Michigan it's not always hot. Ride my bike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bike. Yep. Biking. You guys like riding bikes? Yeah. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, quick question for you guys. Do you practice? I do practice. I practice three hours a day, uh, every day, well, five days a week. So if I don't practice for like a week, I get fidgety and stuff, like I need to go practice. But uh, you know, just to be prepared, uh, like my dad always says, it's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity than to not be prepared and have an opportunity. That is some stinking wisdom right there. <laughs> Say, wait, say that one more time and speak up so everyone can hear you. It's what? It's better to be prepared and not have an opportunity 
mm. than to not be prepared and have an opportunity. Ooh, that is... <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is... Where's your dad? I want to meet this guy. He's right here. I'm just kidding, I know. <laughs> They're our neighbors. They're actually... <laughs> Three hours a day you practice? Yes. Me too. And you practice three hours a day? Yeah. yeah. So, and I enjoy practicing it. Because then I get inspiration from like people like Jacob Collier and Corey Henry uh, from like Instagram and stuff. And then, you know, I want to transcribe them to sound like them and then put some of my own stuff on top of that to mm. sort of combine mm. it. So Own stuff. Own st what about you? What about you? Who influences you in the drum world? Well, my favorite drummers right now are Aaron Spears, Chris Coleman, Sheila E, and my drum teacher, E.G. McBride. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! So you're saying you guys practice three hours a day, Monday through Friday. We take yeah. a so, break Saturday. We so take five, breaks. <laughs> five days a week. Yeah. Five days a week you guys practice three hours each day. Yes. It's a yeah. habit. Yeah. yeah. So you guys... Would and you... of course my dad guides me. My dad is an amazing jazz guitarist and bassist. Mm, yes. His That's name amazing. is Julius Schultz. Check him out. <laughs> <laughs> check these guys out. Yes, you gotta check them out. We'll have links in the description to their page. Go ahead and check out their stuff. It's gonna be super amazing. <laughs> is anything else you guys want to say? Uh, thanks, thanks for thank your support. You. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And thanks for having us. Channel. Thanks for having us on your channel and, you know, hit that sub button. Yeah, man, <laughs> smash the sub, you know, hit yeah, the like, hit whatever. Hit the like button, yeah. put the notifications on. <laughs> uh, our goal by the end of this year is 10 million subs. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have Exactly what he said, 10 million subs, guys. No, that's a pretty uh, ambitious goal right there. That's all, I mean, I wasn't even thinking 10 million, but... Yeah. Hey, again, guys, go ahead, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this. Man, again, we encourage you to be the best person that you uh, were created to be. Basically, these guys are going out and crushing it. They're not letting anyone stop them. So be prepared to see more of these guys. They are so cool, down to earth, and they're actually really good at what they do. Yeah, now let's get to this fat outro. Oh! <laughs> fat outro!